it, like like what 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 made it you know what made you cross the bridge over into like wanting to help other artists Best of the best entertainment presets. Your feature presentation. Yo, what's going down? It's your boy Sir Quinn from Best of the Best Entertainment, where we keep our eyes and our ears open for local, global, up and coming and established artists. Today, we got a special guest, damn it. Introduce yourself. Hey man, y'all already know what it is, man. It's Cartier Chris. It's MK Direct Social, man. We locked in, we locked and loaded this year, man. 24 is a takeoff, bro, and we moving. That's yes, what we got. Yes, Lord, on. man. Yes, Lord, man. So I'm fresh off the <laughs> fresh off the press, man. Yeah, for yeah, MKE yeah. Direct, yeah. River West Radio, man. So uh <laughs> is, is your what's what's your professional title? Is it, it, it like you know? Um, I mean, I would basically put myself in as an entrepreneur. Yeah. I wouldn't actually say that I'm a radio personality as of yet. There's yeah. so many different roles. You know, I just got mm -hmm. started with the radio personality um, role in December. Um, we already became like the number one show on the radio, on that yes. network, on 104.1. Um, we are the most eccentric show. We get the, the best interviews, we get great interviews. We get important interviews on there. But not to discredit all the other shows that's on there as well. Yeah. Um. I mean, there are great shows on the radio. Yeah. Um, River West has a bunch of them. What know? does it we take to one. be number one? <laughs> <laughs> like it's moving that fast, though, man. Yeah, bro. Like it's definitely taking off. Um. So, back in 2019, I want to say we mm -hmm. had an idea to kind of start, like, kind of like get into like the podcasting, but we didn't really take it seriously until about like two, you know after the COVID. I want to say a little bit after 2020. Mm -hmm. So 2021, beginning of that. Kind of start doing like uh, skit videos. You know, you go to the lake, talk to people, interview them. You know what I'm saying? Put a little content together, do skits and stuff like that. Yeah. And it kind of went from that road to being like, man, what more can we do? Like, you know, this is cool, wow. but everybody like a content creator. Like, what more can we put our shoes in? Like, how can we make money and profit and do things like that? Yeah, because I see how you moving, man. Like, you a man of many hats. Like, yeah. they, it's never a dull moment when it comes to you, man. <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm I'm literally walking around with you, like, listening. Because, like, yeah. from one entrepreneur to another, I'm like, man, like, he he you you got the cheat code you feel what For i'm saying sure, so yeah. like i gotta ask like how did you get into this business well you know a minute ago like i said you know the COVID thing happened you know as everybody you know you're gonna take opportunity as either a risk or you're gonna fail Jeez. you know what i'm saying Jeez. so i was working this job i can't remember i think it's rcs or something similar to that mm -hmm. or we was, it was something i can't remember what, we was someplace i can't remember oh yeah but we was working at a factory and then i locked in with you Yes, and you was talking about doing the um like how you had the best of the best podcast. You do ciphers, you interview people, you know what I'm saying? You got your green screen set up, setting up like that. I'm like, oh, wait, bro, we doing a little interview and stuff. Yes, Lord. I said, listen, I thought in my head, I'm like, I do music right now. Like, how can I get on, bro? You know what I'm saying? Like, let me get an interview in nice. studio time, stuff like that. And it just it went from that to being like, okay, I know I do music, but you know, yeah. now it's to the point where it's like, like, what else can I do besides promoting myself? Because yes, I see Lord. bro networking. Right. So it's a good way to meet with people that you can network with. Right. You know what I'm saying? So right. I'm like, what better way the to The thing get is about that, bro, is... like you never took yeah. no for yeah. an answer. Like <laughs> you like and and, and and it shows right now, yeah. like man, like and, and and that's what that's what a boss is. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like you ain't taking no for an answer. Nah, like bro, I'm sorry to cut you off, but keep keep going, man. Nah, like, you I, good. Like you you put it right on the head with yeah. it, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? Except the no, bro. I I'm you not know, people be like, you know, ask once, try, try again type theory. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It'd be the same stuff with me, bro. Like, once I see opportunity as it is, you either going to take the risk or you're going to fail, bro. Right, It's right. okay to get a no. Right. Like, who's to say you're going to just stop at that? You know what I'm saying? Right. It's other ways around it. You might be get a no from this person, but somebody else might be able to get you a yes. So right. it's like, oh, well, shit, let me talk to bro and see if I can get him to slide. Next thing you know, you linked up and there you yeah. is. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like, it's just, it's a different route you could take to get to where you want to get right. to. You, know you, from the, you from the crib, bro? You from Milwaukee? Yeah, man, I'm uh, from Milwaukee, bro, but... Um, yeah, let's, let's, born, let's take it way, in... way back. <laughs> but, um, so I was born well, in Haiti. What Guan, what well, Guan, yeah. yeah. So I, yeah. I was born in Haiti, bro. Yes, Lord. Um, moved here when I was about six years old, got adopted. Um, Met my brother, you know what I'm saying, who was in the building with us today. You know what I'm saying? He locked in. That's my boy, Wayne MC. If y'all want to follow him, the great... The great on uh Facebook, you know what I'm saying? The great on uh Instagram, you know what I'm saying? He runs my MK Direct, um, what is the MK Direct social backup page? And he's gonna be doing the radio page soon too. Nice. So 
Yeah, he's also the cameraman, though. So, y'all ladies, there's some pictures I want to take. Yeah. Hollering that bro, because he, he going to snap, snap. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, MKE snap, snap. Direct, man. Like, what, what yeah. what's the what's the business plan? What's the motto with MKE Direct? Um, We just want to take over every avenue, bro. You it's know what I'm saying? Right. Like, the main thing with radio, we want to be the Breakfast Club. We want to be bigger than that. Um, The main thing with interviews is that we want to network with everybody, develop partnerships with people that matter so that we can keep building. You know, basically have, like, a like an interview emporium. Yeah. We have like the best interviewers, have like a convention and stuff like that together. Yes, they get awards and all that stuff going on for having the best podcast, you know, stuff like that. Mm. Um, we kind of want to go into like the music atmosphere and get like the best engineers together that know how to do music videos and stuff. Lord, the best videographers, mercy. get them together, have them shoot like some of the best content so we could develop like a movie. You know what I'm saying? Go into that type of role. Ooh. Like, a, you know, just like anything that has to do with like up and coming like music, you know, comedian, stuff like that. We could do movies based on that with yeah. as videographers. Man, you, know what I'm saying? you for the culture, so man. Yeah, so it's so like MKE bro. Direct, who, yeah. who all, who, who all have you interviewed on the, on the platform? So far, man, bro. I mean, it's a bunch of names. It's a, bro. it's a mo like, it's, a it's, 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 it's it's I don't lot. know if y'all like yeah, tap it's, in it's to MK lot. Direct, like and, and River West Radio, man. It's, it's a whole mood, yeah. and I'm I'm glad that y'all brought me on. You feel what I'm saying? Like, just like, man, bro. like this, this, this like bridging the gaps, bri bridging the gaps, yeah. like with, with what's going on, like with that the podcasters, liquor, man. Oh, let's <laughs> bridging the gaps. He's on the bridge. Bring it up, bring it up. Bridging bridge the gaps is like it's like it's it's amazing and, and and what you got going on, man. I'm obliged and I, I love that, that you brought me on. You know what I'm saying? That's but I, I over talked that. But like, but answer yeah. the question. Like, who all did you, who 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 all did you bring onto the platform so far? Thus far, um, well, we got two different platforms. Yeah. So we got improvs, which are basically like interviews where we do like a whole introduction with you and all that. Right. Um, that's more a videography. Um, and then we have radio interviews where you're live on air, uh, 104.1 WXRW. So if we go based on the improv interviews, um, I've done EMG as a group. Mm. Um, that's the label that Big Frank works for. I've shot his interview on there. Um, that's probably one of the most popular ones on there. Yes, Lord. Um, I shot B. Jones interview on there. Um, pretty good footage with him. He brought his people with him. You know, that's fun. Then we did a skit afterwards. Right. Um, Shout out to Big Frank. Shout out to uh, yeah, sure. Destiny Lynn. You had her on um, there too? Yep. I shot um, yeah. a couple of local artists. Um, there's F.A. Um, there's uh, G. Keone. There's Tayshana uh, Demonica, which is, I ain't gonna lie, like, there's, um, the type of music that she do is on a whole another level. So, like, they got this Minnesota versus... Uh, what is it, like Minnesota versus Hold on, Milwaukee? No way. Let me let me correct you. It's yeah. Milwaukee versus Minnesota. Oh, uh, Milwaukee. So Milwaukee yeah. versus Minnesota yeah, beef. Where yeah. they coming at us about you know our people getting on right. Like mm -hmm. I feel like as as like the dudes ain't got to really do nothing, bro. Like yeah. the girls barking hard enough. Yeah, facts. She one of them that's gonna get down on them, and she facts. has. You know what I'm saying? So facts. it's like you know I don't want to put too much credit where it's due, but a lot of the people that I interviewed they have a lot of talent. You know, yeah. Jay Love. A lot of them like. You know, yeah, it's a lot. Yeah. Shout out to Sheesh, man. In case y'all yeah. just now tapping in, we kicking it with. Cartier, Chris, you already know, and it's MKE Direct Social, live yeah. on 104.1 WXRW Studios. Locked and loaded. We're going to continue to pick his brand right after this commercial break. Stay tapped in, y'all. If you or someone you know are looking for weekly or consistent hair care, I provide hair services for all hair types, lengths, and styles. Book your next appointment with me, Fine Wine Crystal. You can reach me on Instagram at Fine Wine underscore Ice or on Facebook at Fine Wine Crystal. Thank you. I look forward to working with you soon. All clients must be willing to receive hair service within the shop setting. There will be no chemical services provided at this time. Style lengths and prices vary per client, and we're now offering services for clients with tender scalp needs and special needs accommodations. Yo, in case you just now tapping in, we kicking it with. Party here, Chris, and you know it's MK Direct Social Locked and Loaded, man. Let's get to it. Yes, Lord, man. So, nigga, what else do you do? Cause, like, bro, hold on. I see the shit on, bro. You got, you got them, you got them, you got them folks blues on right now, man. Like, oh, the GD like, blues. Yeah. <laughs> the GD blues. Nigga, bro, hold on, bro. <laughs> Shice, hold on, man. Like, let, let the camera see it, bro. Let the camera right, see the camera it. See, yeah. yeah, you gotta bring it up a little bit higher. A little bit higher yeah, man. he got that. the, we got that yeah, boy. Man, Sylvester, get up off me, yeah. you know. <laughs> Southern Shakatash, you feel me? <laughs> 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 
<laughs> like what else? What else do you do, though, bro? Like, like what else? Like, cause like, oh, man, shit, you, man. Like, like it's a lot, lie. man. Like, it's a it's a lot in that brain of yours. You know what I'm saying? So, and the best of the best then, TV, we gotta we gotta we gotta yeah. hear. It, you feel me? So within the company, we got a model magazine that we got on. Yes, um, I got about seven models right now that work for me. Um, they just got hired on. Mm. Um, we work with uh, the the Visual Factory, which is on 72nd and Dean Road and Brown Deer. Yes, Lord. I work with my boy there. Um, his name is uh, Buck. Buck like Bradley. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I'm working with Jeez. him on a couple things. Um, I got my boy Jalali. I'm working with him on a couple things. And then my other camera guy as well, Wayne MC, or the great one, you know what I'm saying? If I want to follow him on Instagram, Snapchat, and whatever. That's, that's what their socials are. Yeah. So, um, I mean, it's just, I got that avenue. We got the radio, obviously. We got um TV coming soon. We're starting some stuff with PBS 10. Um, mm -hmm. They're on their network. It's going to be more business related. Mm -hmm. uh, me and my co-host are going to be talking on that. She's going to be in and out from Miami. Bro, you're not going to nutshell this whole interview. Because <laughs> I know you're a radio host. You're not going to. I asked you, what else do you do? You're not going to nutshell this interview, man. <laughs> like, so, like, yeah, I, I know you do a lot, man. I, I know yeah. you do a lot. Okay. Um, but, um, like, what, what inspires you to uh, to do what you're doing? You feel what I'm saying? Um. I mean, like the will, bro. Like it's just a lot of my people around me. You know what I'm saying? They grow with a lot of nothing. You know what I'm saying? My and then dog. just me being who I am, bro. Like I always been the person to give, like you know, my shirt off my back to you know a stranger and yeah. help out. Yeah, my and dog. I feel like I could do so much with my music, but I see a lot of talent here, bro. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So it's like, what better way to network and put my stuff behind it than to just do it for my city? And then, right. You know, I got my people behind me, my family, my kids. You know what I'm saying? Right. So it's like my kids is. That's more of my inspiration behind all of it. You, know you think saying? you think uh, what you're doing right now, like um, like putting this platform together, like you think it's like digressing your music, like man, you you a cold lyricist, you know what I'm saying? Like how do you how, how do you feel about your music right now? Um, well, I mean, as far as my music, I mean, I don't really look at it in a, like a certain aspect. You know what I'm saying? Yes, Lord. I try to look at it more into. Like I do it just to just to do it for fun. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. more of a hobby to me now. Yeah. So the more the like where I'm at is more like the radio entrepreneurship level where I'm like putting people in places where they want to be at. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So that's more of my role now. I'm yeah. more of like a diverter. Like, okay, you tell me your plan and I'm yeah. putting you right there. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like that's where I'm at. People that want to book shows, you know, you got a bunch of artists, like I want to get more events, you know what I'm saying? I know all the promoters. Right. So it's like, let me just Holla at them, you know, I got this artist that want to perform, you know what I'm saying? What's the ticket, you know what I'm saying? Or right. let's, there's one of my people, you know what I'm saying? Let's get them in real quick. Yeah. All right, cool. Say less, you know So how did, how did it feel as a, like a, as, as a, a, a musician, as an artist? Like, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, how did it feel? Like, how did the support feel? Like, how did it, like, like what, what, what made it, you know, what made you cross the bridge over into like wanting to help other artists? So, ain't gonna lie, like I started it, my guy, uh, Jalali Bay. It was me, Wayne, uh, my boy Ricky, and a couple other people that was locked in. You know what I'm saying? And our first song we did at a club on the South Side, bro. And like we was, we was chopped. Like we, was, like cause it was our first show. Like we didn't know what to do. You know what I'm saying? We drunk. We like, bro, we just gotta get out there. And just we went out there. I don't know how we did because <laughs> I don't know if they recorded it. But the way it was, we had a crowd into it. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like everybody was lit. You know what I'm saying? So That's we hard. we had it, we had it pretty. You know what I'm saying? Smooth and then. It just kind of went to like, you know, people doing music, but people listening to it, but not really promoting it as you should. Right. Like just doing songs and just having an archive of stuff just built in. And we really didn't have an avenue to like really get the music out. But just back then, you know, putting it on either like SoundCloud or something like that or on a disc or something. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. no, for real. For real. You so it's like culture, man. Yeah. Like, yeah. So it's like. For me to sit back and try to promote it, I didn't have no avenue to get my music Oof. out there how I wanted it to until we start doing like music videos and stuff like YouTube and yes, all that Lord. stuff started kicking. So then that's when it's like, okay, let's see what we could do. Like, let's just post everything on YouTube. That's right. how some people get noticed, but we didn't have no platforms to know that stuff back then. Right. Post your music on this and that's how you can get on. Like, right. they didn't teach us that. Yeah. So, you know, that's yeah. kind of how it was. So my idea was to like, you know, kind of lean off of that, just do it more as a hobby. And yeah. then promote other people's stuff because right, it was like, God's plan that we yeah, met, man. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking <laughs> of, man, like you said, you've been in Minnesota for you was in Minnesota yeah, for yeah, a little yeah. bit, man. Yeah. This Milwaukee versus Minnesota beat, yeah, man. And we're gonna touch on that right after this commercial <laughs> break. Y'all stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen. We are now available on Roku TV. Again, we are pleased to announce that we are on the A and R app on Roku TV. Make sure y'all go support. It's spelled T H E capital A. 
lowercase a n d uppercase r no spaces please go check that out again it's capital t lowercase h e uppercase a lowercase a n d uppercase r no spaces the a and r all one word thank you for your support go check that out yeah Yo, thanks for still tapping in. After commercial break, I'm kicking it with my boy. You already know who it is, man. It's Cartier Chris, man. We locked and loaded with MK Direct Social, man. Stay yes, tuned. Lord. Yes, Lord, man. I had to get my boy Big Bottle, man, because, like, man, we had a little mishap our our last interview, man. But it's, it's more inspirational to this time. You feel what I'm saying? So, uh... I was gonna tell you, we drank the little midget, man. Like, <laughs> she got home. We were gonna put her to the side. No, like, it's organic, man. Like, me and my dog, we worked together. Like, it was, man, like, we. That was like, a snack everything sample, y'all. That we talked about, like, we manifested everything that was yeah. going on right now. You feel what I'm saying? Like, facts, from, facts. from my dog being a, 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 a rapper and, like, trying to get on the platform. And mm -hmm. I, I, I use that term loosely, trying, because, yeah. like, he didn't take no for an answer. And right. also, like, he made himself a boss, man. Like, yeah. and, like, also, he understand the importance of promoting yourself you feel what i'm saying a, a working boss too though yeah. not one to just sit back and don't do nothing call the shots like mm -hmm. i still call the shots but i still move, make the moves and get down to my dog so, my dog just so y'all know so you you fucked me up because you said you was in minnesota so you understand their language but we got yeah, this man. minnesota yeah. milwaukee versus minnesota okay beef. like how you feel about this like how you, i feel like to, to be honest bro it's stupid bro Cause yeah. at the same time, everybody in Minnesota got their own music, you know what I'm saying? And then everybody in Milwaukee got their own swag. But yeah. right now it's just what's popping, bro. So why I hate on the next city? Cause y'all not got what y'all, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Like it's not going on for y'all right now. I gotta get off that, man. You know what I'm saying? Like just keep pushing it, keep, you know what I'm saying? I want y'all tap into our platform. Cause yeah. Milwaukee, like we didn't just stick in Milwaukee, bro. We had artists that was here in Milwaukee. We went to Detroit, we went to Atlanta, you know what I'm saying? We was tapping in different bases. We had songs with V's. Mm. We got V's want to do a song with JP right now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like if they ice work. Wear? Yeah, I know. Uh, Vezo. Uh, V's. Uh, V's. Uh, uh, V's. No, yeah. okay. Yep. V's. Oh, damn. So, Child. you know, he popping, bro. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Facts. You got Drake want to hop on a remix facts. with him. You know what, facts. Facts. what, facts. 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 what I'm saying? And that's being real. So it's like if they tap into that industry, bro, like come come fuck with us, bro. Instead of y'all trying to beef, like just come down here, come fuck with us, bro. Right. We ain't got time for all that shit. You do y'all, we do you know, us. It is what it is, man. Yeah. We ain't finna argue with y'all. You already yeah. know what it is. You know? yeah. Beat y'all ass, but no. you know. <laughs> yeah. You, 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 you <laughs> think they you, think, you, you do you think they music fucking with our music though? To be honest, bro, like y'all got it, y'all got Prince, bro. Yeah. So it's like it ain't really nothing y'all can really say or do, to be honest. Like y'all yeah. got Prince, bro. Like y'all yeah. gonna talk about us <laughs> dancing all day in our music. But y'all got Prince, bro. Like, that's it. Like, y'all can't get over that, bro. Y'all got Prince, bro. Used to wear leather chap jeans with a booty cut out, bro. Like, <laughs> that's who y'all got, bro. That's who y'all yeah, got. Yeah, facts, facts. Yeah. But it's love for Minnesota, bro. You can't get on my Virgo, man. You can't get on Prince, man. And St. Paul. St. Paul, that's my city, bro. Yeah. On Maryland and Rice, bro. That's where fam live at. So, you know, it's yeah. love for everybody down there. And there's no disrespect to yeah. NPLS, bro. That. Yeah. This another state, bro. Don't come yeah. at Milwaukee, Wisconsin about none of that, bro. Like yeah. we bought Size. our bucks and we bought our cheese, bro. Yeah. How else can you put it? You Size. Know? So how did how did Milwaukee make you, man? Like how, like like you you from uh, Haiti, like like yeah. like let's 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 kind of take it back. You know, you know what I'm saying? Let's talk. All about right. It. So like even you know like Haiti is a harsh place even to this day, bro. Like you yeah. know what I'm saying? The Clintons kind of like they fucked that shit up for everybody, man. Made the city kind of like. Like at turmoil, took a lot of businesses. Like here, you can start your own business, do what you want to do, become an entrepreneur. You know what I'm saying? Live mm -hmm. that American dream. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But in all retrospect, bro, like when you go down there, they stop you. There's a block on all of that stuff. You ain't got schools and stuff unless it's, you know, them catering the school system, but they bringing you books that's old. You know what I'm saying? That stuff they ain't even listening to. You know what I'm saying? Yes, Lord. So it's like, they Damn. still, yeah, they stopping them. They giving all the, like, all the, like, the resources to, Damn. um, the Dominican Republic, but they taking a lot of stuff out of Haiti, and they trying to promote it as for what it is, saying that it's worse than what it is. But it's really the American government coming here making it worse because they still in the resources. You know what I'm saying? Whoa! So and that's just being real. Like I ain't even gonna sugarcoat that, bro. You Man. see the FBI? Don't I go missing, bro. I go missing, bro. Just know it was because of this interview, bro. And I told you know what I'm saying. Just listen. know. I'm just gonna say. Hold on, man. man. Listen, man. <laughs> <laughs> listen, bro. You ain't going nowhere, bro. You ain't going nowhere, bro. You see how Milwaukee <laughs> getting down when it comes to Minnesota, bro? Hey, for like, real. You could, you, you, man. For you stamped the certified, man. And that's not the certified, but for my boy. 
Mary Chris. You feel what I'm saying, right, man? Sure, man like, sure. but like, like that's how it was. Like, that's how it is, man. That's what's going yeah, on. Man. So, real talk, like you know, Minnesota, like going back to the Minnesota beef. They got, they got their own little shit going on, bro. No, not the Minnesota beef. Let's oh, talk yeah. about like how Milwaukee made you. Like, like, oh, okay, like, okay, okay. You feel what I'm saying? So back to you know to how Milwaukee made me in a sense. Um, I mean that that really is how it is, bro. Like I yeah. can't even sugarcoat that, bro. Like you know, my influence is really from. Like the people I grew up with, you know, I, we call ourselves a Blue House Gang. You yeah. know what I'm saying? We used to call ourselves uh, what? You said what? Blue House Gang. What? We all, it was about, so when we was younger, we used to have a group. It used to be like, use the Wild Trades. You remember, you know, yeah, back the in the day, we used to call ourselves <laughs> Wild Trades. You know? I heard that there, name in a minute. Gang, bro. Some of my boys still got the tattoos to this day. Duh, you, feel me? Like, what? you know what I'm saying? Bro, I was off but, Hampton too, because like, bro, like they was, man, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you had brought our ass Paul. So like, yeah. Y'all was, yeah, five. You had Center Street, 4 6 Uptown. Shice. You had Eastside Basement Boys, Attic Boys. You, know, you had all of that. You know, there's a yeah, lot of yeah. old talk, stuff. Talk that, that was Milwaukee going talk on, real you know quick, man. Hold on, man. So now you got low end. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Now you still got trades. You Shice. know, you still got the Wild Twos. You know what I'm saying? Shice. They call it Dub Group. You know what I'm saying? They're off the 20. Shice. But the whole, the whole thing is like growing up in that era, bro, it taught everybody to stick together. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So now you see people that you grew up with that you used to beef with. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You be like, shit, it's love because you see where they had in life now. You yes, know what I'm saying? But it's like as a kid, you weren't thinking about that. You was just like, shit, I'm with my people. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? It is what it is. It's us over nothing. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. And that's the mentality that you live by when you grow up because shit, when you develop your business, you kind of want to have that same mentality. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Like it's us or nothing. You know what I'm saying? So you want to have that same mentality, that gang like structure. But you're running it because, you know, everybody going to work for everybody. You know what I'm saying? Whoa. And it's not the violence involved. It's, you know, the structure involved. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So. Whoa. Yeah. That's how I so, and, and that's considered culture. Like, and yeah. that's Milwaukee culture because, like. Just thinking of mob, bro. You know, like, we you had, got, like, you got yeah. the Italian mafia, bro. Yeah. And look how they society work together. The Roethlisbergs. You know what I'm saying? Mark Zuckerberg and, and Facebook, bro. You know, all the all the corporations he got, bro. We got Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's doing all this stuff, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? And now, uh, but that's, your, that's, your, answer. By that's your answer. Yeah, but that's you gotta have answer. a squad with people, bro. <laughs> I'll take that back. Twitter owned by Elon now. He made it yeah. to the X. Size, man. You know, like, he know he know his now. He yeah, got his knowledge. Yeah, he got yeah, that, man. Bro. So, uh, <laughs> so like in the, in the last ten years, like like how do you, how do you think culture has changed? Um, We're gonna talk about that right after this commercial break. Stay I gotta wait. <laughs> If you or someone you know are looking for weekly or consistent hair care, I provide hair services for all hair types, lengths, and styles. Book your next appointment with me, Fine Wine Crystal. You can reach me on Instagram at finewine underscore ice or on Facebook at Fine Wine Crystal. Thank you. I look forward to working with you soon. All clients must be willing to receive hair service within the shop setting. There will be no chemical services provided at this time. Style lengths and prices vary per client, and we're now offering services for clients with tender scalp needs and special needs accommodations. Yo, thanks for still tapping in, man. In case y'all just now tapping in, we kicking it with my boy. Man, hold on, my boy. It's uh, Cartier Chris here with MK Direct Social, man. We locked and loaded. You feel me? Hold on. Cheers. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. before on. before oh, commercial break. This the same shit? Yeah. It's okay, like, cool. It's, it's just I a bigger bro bottle. I it, bro. We put some other shit in. <laughs> it's it's ever bigger. clearing this month. <laughs> <laughs> Call we get it with Johnny or Chris, damn it! What you talking about? So, uh, before commercial break, we was talking about how the culture has changed okay, in the, the last culture, ten okay. years. Like, want me to spell it? C U. What's that? Latin? <sighs> Man, listen, <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not, I'm not even gonna touch on that one. Like, pause. <laughs> I right, but listen, but it, it, it's 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 uh it's culture. Okay, okay that's what okay. it is. That's what it is. All right. So, like, like how like how did how did it change? Like, it's Cause it's uh man, we known each other like yeah. for a minute, like and uh and and you see the change and you yeah. are the change. You yeah. you you're part of the culture, man. Like and I, I not about that, man. I applaud today for I one, that, for two. Like so, um, like 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 how did it change and um, like where do you see it going? Um, that's a lot of questions. I mean, like, like when. Okay, so to answer the first question, how did the culture change? Mm -hmm. um, and then the second one was, how do you see it going? Mm -hmm. All right, so for the first part, 
I feel like the way it changed is the way we used to do music, the way we used to advertise music, we don't mm. have that. We didn't have TikTok as a platform, you know what mm. I'm saying, to get on and do all that. We mm. didn't have YouTube to, you know, we did, but we wasn't using it like that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We didn't have, um, like, Spotify and all that. Like, we had SoundCloud, but that didn't come out to you know, later when people start catching on, mm. you know what I'm saying? So it's like to have all these different platforms that the kids got now, mm. like, bro, you could do a video on Viva Cut, bro, and then post it, and then it's on TikTok, and now everybody like, oh, that's on car, you know what I'm saying? It could be a chorus, bro. That's all people, they, it's, it's catchy, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So they're going to hop on it, you know what I'm saying? Yes, Lord. So the culture changed in that way because, like, the way things used to be that was accepted back then, that was denied back then, mm. is now reversed. You know what I'm saying? So back then, you know, we had Lil Romeo, bro. You know what I'm saying? We had Lil Bow Wow, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like these OGs, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And listening to their music, bro, like they wasn't cussing, bro. Yeah. Now you got little kids that's like 10 years old on a song cussing like a man. You know what I'm saying? Like, damn, bro, shut your ass up, bro. You know what I'm saying? But with that being said, um, the second part of your question. Where do you where do you come into this culture? Like where do you you know what I'm saying? So like, where I fit in at and um like how it like how I like influence it in a sense is um like I I peer to the culture like I I peer to the youth. I do a lot of stuff with the youth. Yes, Lord. so I, I I like I try to make sure that you know if they got things going for them, monitoring their brains, monitoring their minds, something you know productive for them to do, then. You know what I'm saying? For us, it's going to make it easier on us to, you know, train them, make sure that they doing, you know, all the stuff. So when they get to the younger culture, they able to do the same thing that we doing. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, like, for example, like, um, I was a coach this year for my, my kids' basketball team. You know what I'm saying? It's a Lutheran school. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Um, you didn't, you should have answered that kids. when I asked you, what else do you so do? So, look, like, well, listen, so check lot, this out. Wow. So, kids got an attitude problem, bro. Like, I ain't never, like, I got my own kids to worry about, bro. But these <laughs> kids, bro, fifth and sixth graders, bro, attitude problems out of this world. I'm talking about temper tantrums, bro, egos, all that. And boys, bro, they don't, they don't give a, you know, they don't care, bro. You know what I'm saying? So to mold them and to, to, to like mentally prepare them to go out there and work as a team, bro, and to win two championships, bro. This is my first year doing it. It was crazy, bro. You know what I'm saying? My son well, never won, played. Y'all, y'all, y'all took it to the ship, bro. So yeah, we won two, bro, this year. What? Bro. You know what I'm saying? What? It was a good group of yeah, team, bro. Touch me, bro. Like, like, group of kids, bro, on the team. You know what I'm saying? My son first year playing it, you know, it made him proud to see it because, you know, he didn't really believe in basketball. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is his first year playing. Yeah. So, to get him out there for him, to, and then he scored. You know what I'm saying? His first points of the season, too. You know what, what? I'm saying? His first year. Hey, that's so, it's like, dad, man. Bro, I was proud, bro. I'm like, this for nigga, real? you know what I'm saying? I want to say this nigga. Yeah. But, <laughs> <laughs> you can talk your he shit, He did man. what he like, did, you know? Yeah. I was like, yeah. hell yeah, my boy. Shit. Yeah. So, next year, he want to get back into it. I want to get him more active. You know what I'm saying? He got cousins and all that shit that play with him. Mm -hmm. So, I kind of want to have him working with them. I take him to the wild. My guy got me training with them. You know, mm -hmm. he want me to work out with him. You know what I'm saying? But I'm more training my son for basketball because that's what I do. Yeah. But I don't mind doing the workout, Leo. You know what I'm saying? I'm just going right. to wait till that high school moment come. You know, he, his kid's in high school. So, you know, he work out, try to get fit. He want to be uh, Brock Lesnar. So. Right. <laughs> right, so you you part of the culture, like you like you like you're like you are are the are the thread, the stitchings of the culture, like in Milwaukee I right now. Necessarily say like the thread, but I would be like the foundation for somebody that want to get started to where they want to be. I you know like what I'm that. I like that. So I like, like um, that. I work with a bunch of local people, and I work yeah. with a bunch of known people. And I it's like that. because of the people that I know. You know what I'm saying? Like I've been around for a while. People might think I'm younger than what I am. Yeah, but I'm a little bit older than what they think. You know what I'm yes, saying? Lord. So yes, Lord. I get you, bro. He's like 25, 20 this and that. Like, right. Y'all right, probably think that, but I'm, I ain't going to say nothing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to just let it be what yeah, it is, facts, you know? Facts. So I appear to the younger crowd for that simple fact because, like, most of like, the way I carry myself, the way I dress, my demeanor and all that is kind of laid back, cool, young type. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I got promoters that want me to, like, host that, a bunch of events like Legends, Prime Social, stuff like that. Shout out my boy B Fire. You know what I'm yeah. saying? He on that. Um, and then, like I said, we promoted with, I mean, we're sponsored by a lot of different people and we're partnered with a lot mm -hmm. of different people. Yeah. So. And your I network just, is growing fast, yeah, man. Yeah. Like growing. Yeah. Fast. So like with that said, like, how did you grow your following? Um, I mean, organically is the best way to go. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like we started off, we'd been doing, but we had this page for about three years now. Yes, like, Lord. Direct social. And, um, in all honesty, like. A lot of the stuff has to do with like the paid promotions and stuff, and then the collaboration post. Mm -hmm. And um, when you start looking at like building your fan base, a lot of the stuff I used to do to just keep it a book, like I used to go on like 
like MK uh, mixtape trappers, right? Yes, Lord. I used to go on DJ Shout Jerry. DJ now Jerry. we partners now. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. But I used to go on his page and just add his followers on my page. You know what I'm saying? My and then I just click on stuff and have videos and like they stuff and have them come look to see what my page is about, right? Mm -hmm. So most of the people that's on this page, like, okay, it's another promoter page. It's another page that's, you know, Milwaukee. Let me add this page, see what bro talking about. Ooh, you know what I'm boy. saying? Post that stuff, right? So I did that a lot with a lot of people pages, right? Yes, Lord. Um, I had a 414. Um, I tapped into that. You know what I'm saying? Kind of got that situated. Um, I'm not going to say too much more detail. Into yes, that. Lord, man. I was going to say, don't um, give him the script, you man. Know, <laughs> and then, you know, we got my boys, uh, DJ Jerry. You know what I'm saying? Like, we, me and my guy, we ended up doing a mixtape with him a while back. You know what I'm saying? So that's how we got plugged in with bro. You know what I'm saying? On the stuff that he got going on. I'm trying to get him on the radio as well, too. So DJ right. Jerry. Uh, speaking uh, of radio, saying? man. Sh yeah. Shout out DJ Jerry, man. I ain't mean to cut you off. Like, speaking of radio, like, like how did that how did that promote your growth? Because, like, like, man, you, ma you made a move. You made a move. Yeah. You made a move. You made a, like, you made, you making these power moves. Yeah. Quick. Like, how, how did that, how did the radio promote your growth? So, um, before... People wasn't really taking MK direct seriously. Like I had to reach out and do a lot more stuff to like kind of put in a little extra effort to get yes, to Lord. where I was at. But then once I got the radio spot and it locked in, people start looking at it like, okay, damn, you know, bro, really, you know what I'm saying? He got a radio on 104, like, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's FM station. Like we could key in and listen to it. It's on the, it's on the internet too. We could, mm -hmm. It's on Rap City, like, you know what I'm saying? So that kind of, mm. people started to string in like, okay, like bro starting to get his stuff together a little bit more. He more serious on it. You know, he got a co-host that's eccentric. You know, she got a bunch of followers, you know what I'm saying? So it's mm. like, like he ain't just, just talking, you know what I'm saying? Like he really yeah. trying to build a platform and tell people, you know, you start hiring people. We got a model magazine, like I said. Yes, Lord. All that stuff is behind closed doors. I got a backup, you know, co-host in case my co-host isn't there. Or if, even if I want to have two co-hosts on the show, you know, yeah, yeah. I can have both of them there. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So it's like, for whatever situation, I got something for it. That's you know what I'm saying? So that's kind of like where I want to have it at. And I just want to build like a team that's going to be, you know, like energetic and enthusiastic as me that wants to be money driven. Because that, at the end of the day, like we all want to make money, bro. Yes, Lord. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, everybody want to be successful. You know what I'm saying? So it's like to sit back and just be like, okay, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. But then just talk about it. It's not going to be your actions. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So it's like we got to put the action with the words and we got to just keep moving. And then we can't slow down. Like when there's a block, we got to find a route to move around that. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And that's like I work avenues, bro. Like I go be up at 3 o'clock in the morning, bro, on the phone or on the computer. Just like, you know, who can I get in contact with so I can get this shit happening? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So. Like, yeah. I ain't, I ain't taking no, bro. Like yeah. for answer, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And even like, yeah, you know, yeah, 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 how, yeah, yeah, I, yeah, 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 yeah. In case y'all just now tapping in, man, we kicking it with Cartier, Chris. You know it's MK Direct Social. Follow us, you know, on every social platform, bro. We locked and loaded, bro. One hundred four point one WXRW. My boy Sir Quentin interview debuting April first, seven PM Central Time, Central Standard Time. Lock in, man. We there. Yeah, we got commercial break. We got our word segment. Right after the commercial break, stay tapped in. Yeah. Mindful Mondays. Let's let's take this moment to to tell best of the best TV where to find you guys at. Um, how to sign up for how to sign up for this event. If you're a vendor, if you just want to attend, all the above. The floor is yours. And with the social media sites, you know, we do have social media sites as well. We're on Instagram as Mindful Mondays MKE, as well as Facebook Mindful Mondays MKE. Uh, same thing that you mentioned, we're on Eventbrite. If you look at Mindful Mondays in Milwaukee here, our event is there. Uh, so that's mainly where you can find us as well. And as Fred said, at Greenwood Park, right in the heart of the city yes. at 4233 West Fond du Avenue. Yes, okay. and um, GreenwoodParkGallery.com. Yes. All right, let's 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 reiterate that address and time and and all that. You said all 40, right. what's the address? My, my, Mindful Mondays, April 8th. 5.30 to 7.30, $25 a ticket. You will enjoy um, six different wine flavors. You will enjoy art and the knowledge of podcasting. You can reach us at, like I said, greenwoodparkgallery.com where you can purchase tickets or Eventbrite or call 414-444-5166. Forty-two thirty-three. What's fine to like happen. Yo, thanks for still tapping in at the commercial break. Guess y'all just now tapping in. We kicking it with. I got something on that. You got to say that, <laughs> oh, man. You ain't got to. We kicking it with Cartier Chris, man. Yeah, dude. <laughs>
Yeah. I say it did. Very direct social, yeah. man. Yeah. yeah. All that gang <laughs> shit, man. All that, man. Like that shit. All right. So, I play uh, too much. You know how it is. We got the word segment, man. Like, right, what's this about me? Um, I want to take a shot, but I want to know what this is about first. I love being with another um, a radio guy and shit. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like, man, like it's like. Pfft. All right, we got. The, so we spent we spent it three times. Okay. And every time you tell me what you think about the word. Mm, that make okay. that makes sense. Okay. All right. Like the price is right, but you ain't getting no money though. I right, saw so three times and yeah. I spend it and I don't get no cheese. You ain't got no cheese. I'm a broke ass nigga, y'all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's spin. <laughs> <laughs> Let's finish for the first time, uh, boy. <laughs> I get to look at it? No. Nope. Because I don't see what the hell on the fucking board, bro. What you got on there? It better not be no gay shit, bro. No, nah, ain't no gay. No. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Wait, I can't it's say it on your radio station. You can't say it on mine. Oh, Wait. oh my bad. You feel me? Can All I, right. Can I be no crazy stuff? But it's, it's love. The first love. one is love. The first one is love. The first word is love. All right, so look, <laughs> it's love for everybody, you feel me? The whole city of Milwaukee, I got love for y'all. When I think about love, I think about the people that it's not family, that's still family, you know what I'm saying? Like, I look at it like- My dog, you know, my dog. I mean, I, yeah, I'm gonna just wrap it up like that, y'all. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, sure. No, no, you can't you can't just do that. Like, like, who, are, like who, that. who are the people that's like- Okay, that's okay, love, so let's put stuff. it like that. So, yeah. you know, you might have family, you know, they say family, uh, Blood is thicker than water, right? Yes, Lord. So with that being said, it's like at the same point, like some family will snake you, bro. Like some family really will rob you. Some family really will do you dirty type shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like they not really can to able. You know what I'm saying? We go back to the times, bro. Brother killed them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like the friends or the company that you keep is the family that you're going to have in your lifetime. You know right. what I'm saying? Like I got family, bro, that's, that's friends. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I kick it with that's that's day ones, you know what I'm saying? Yes, Lord. And never be on no snake shit. And I ain't gotta worry about that. They know I'm the same shit. You know, it's loyalty. Like loyalty is really what family is about, bro. Yeah, ooh, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. loyalty over everything. Yeah, you know, in best of the best, we gotta we gotta dig deep. We gotta figure yeah. it out. We gotta figure it out. Let's get that second spin, my boy. All right, all right. Uh, the other way. Yes, sir. Where we at? Relationships. Y'all babies can't get me. <laughs> Y'all over with. <laughs> no. Hey, I'm locked and loaded, bro. Like, yeah. I'm I'm cool with the family I got. You know what I'm saying? I don't want none of y'all. But if LMA come the way, you can join <laughs> what I got going on, little baby. You feel me? <laughs> and my girl ain't going to be mad That's relationship with Chris, bro. Yeah. That's your relationship with Chris. Yeah. Like, what, like yeah. I want to ask you that, yeah. too. I'm glad, like, we could just, like... That's for the first time on Best of the Best, we could I like, like kind of like... I like British girls with a little, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's... Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, the girl I got, she kind of... You know, kind of white girlish, you know, but she black, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't like girls that's like, oh. Mm. I don't like that ratchet oh, shit. Oh, you know wait, you said all this like, shit. What, what like, you, you know mean what all? Like, what is all? Like, cause she, like you she, got some girls that. She gets, she could pertain to everything. All this yeah, shit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Everything. Like, you got some girls that's, that's laid She don't back. need no man. Yeah, don't need, you know, the ones that's like the JTs, the yeah. Cardi B's, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I don't want them, bro. Yeah. I want a laid back, simple girl that just do her shit, don't give a fuck about no niggas, you know what I'm saying? I want one Shies. dude to just chop it up with her. Shies. And she kind of little bi, you know what I'm saying? Shies, bro. You know Shies, bro. Like, y'all just not tapping in, we kicking it with who? Cartier, motherfucking bro, Chris, like this, nigga, this on conversation like, shot like, with my boy, best of the best TV. We bark, like, like we talk, oh. like, it's like... I don't know if it sound like that. Like, <laughs> no, but hey, no, sometimes it sound like that. Like, but it sometimes it sound like that because, like, sometimes we just like, man, I'm hurt, man. Like, like, can we, can we, can we talk to each other? Like, so, like, man, it's it's organic. Like, that's how that's how we talk. All right, third spin, man. I don't, I don't want them to know because, like, man, it's two bosses at the table. Ooh, I like that spin. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, 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 ooh. It's some bullshit. Family. Family. I mean, that's going back. I ain't gonna lie. Like, get into the mic, so, man. Get into the mic. All right, so family mean a lot to me. All right, I'm just gonna keep it 100 with you. Like, the family I got now, I go to war for them, bro, and nobody getting in. Like, I'm, I'm one of them. I'm mm. worse than a pit bull when it comes to my family. Mm. My brother just passed March 2nd. You know what I'm saying? That was kind of sad for me. I ain't gonna say it was kind of like, it, it really hurt. You know what I'm saying? My boy was there for me. 
Um, my family was there. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people showed their support and gratitude towards that. Um, but it's like, at the same time my mom's passed in 2016, that kind of made me do like what I'm doing now as far as being like more of a family person to my kids. You know what I'm saying? I want to have them connected. I got two different baby mamas. So it's like at the same time, like I just want to have my kids connect. You know what I'm saying? Like yes, I don't want to never have it. They both, they both cool as hell. You know what I'm saying? Yes, Lord. So it's like for me to work that angle and to have that for them, you know what I'm saying? That means a lot because I ain't had that when I was growing up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like I ain't know my sister. I start chopping it up with her. Like we just split up. She lived in Minnesota her whole life. So it kind of was like a big downfall for me and her to be cool. And then I always stay in contact, you know what I'm saying, through all my years. But like, you know, it's not the same as like you growing up with your siblings. You see them every day. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? So for me to be separated, be adopted, you know what I'm saying, through a different family, it just it sets a whole nother tone. You know what I'm yes, saying? Lord. And then to connect with the family I got now and to like make sure that they are good. And you know what I'm saying? Like they rely on me for good advice and to like keep motivating them to be, you know, successful people in their life and the mm -hmm. stuff that they got going on. That means a lot. You know what I'm saying? Yes, Lord. So I mean that that's 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 in a nutshell, bro. Like that's all I can say about that. Yeah. You said your sister in Minnesota? Nah, so my sister, uh yeah, I do got one sister that's in Minnesota right yeah. now. Yeah. She's staying in Mankato. Right. I used to yeah. live down there for a minute. Um, my guy, uh, my videographer, his name Wayne MC. He know all about that. He know when I was yeah. down there in Minnesota for the longest. I was trying to like, I was trying to bridge the gap because I'm like, man, like that Minnesota versus Milwaukee, Milwaukee yeah. versus Minnesota. It got a, like, it got a, like, man, like we, we got to bridge the gap, like, man, like ain't. Like it's, it, it ain't it, really you know, no beef. Just come down here and do a song with us and y'all be on, bro. Like, it is what it is. That's but like, it. we not trying to discredit y'all for doing what y'all yeah. doing. We know Shorty can bark. We know a couple of niggas out there got their songs together, bro. My dog. At the end of the day, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we Milwaukee, bro. We My us. Dog. We not trying to be y'all. We not trying to be Chicago. We not My trying to dog. be for none of y'all, bro. We do our own shit and we trying to put on for ourselves. My like, y'all could do y'all and Minnesota can do them. You know what I'm saying? My dog. It is what it is. If y'all want to network, come network. But all the other shit, shut that shit up, man. My dog. My dog. That's being real. My dog. So we're gonna take this moment to um to 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 tell best of the best like what you got coming up like you know what I'm saying like you um you got like it's your floor. All right. So let me take this shot real quick. Hold on. Yes, Lord. Mm -hmm. Man, that's a cheers to best of the best TV for having me out here on this uh podcast, man. I respect that, bro. All yes, oh, gratitude Lord. to you and your business and what you got going on, man. Much love to y'all. More blessings to come. Um, but for MKE Direct, bro, and for Cardi and Chris, we got a lot of things going on, bro. Um, we got um, April 1st. Stay tuned. My boy, uh, Sir Quentin, got his podcast dropping. It's a uh, first interview, radio interview, live on 104.1 WXRW Studios, River West Radio. Um, let me see. I think I might have some. Um, I think. I think. I think I got some. You got some promotional, got some, yeah, got some promotional right. stuff. Like, some River yeah. West shit for yes, you, my yes, boy. Yes, Lord. Yes. Most definitely, right. man. A couple right. of dollars, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> With the bitches that want to pop a couple of collars. You know what yes, Lord. Right? Yes, Lord. Yeah, man. man. Um, shout out River West Radio, man. That's who we work with, man. Yeah, my boy Zai, bro. We got a boat cruise coming soon, too. Um, that's coming out in June. Fresh off of that, too, man. Um, yeah. So here's River West Radio. This is the patch. You guys can see that right there, man. Mm -hmm. Come get, um, come to River West Studios. And get y'all patch. Good dollars for a patch. Get autographed by MK Direct Social. Me and Layla Rico to be down there. So, you know, we'll stay Jeez. for that. Jeez. Uh, we also have Jam Fest MKE. Uh, my boy, Sir Quentin, will be accompanying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Me on that journey, yeah. you know what I'm saying? That's my cool. boy, Wayne MC, a.k.a. The Great One, you know what I'm saying? Follow him on uh, TikTok, Snapchat, and uh, Facebook. You know, that's my guy, man. Shout out uh, MK Direct social backup page. You know, my guy run that Boy, shit for me. What? So y'all better add that page, bro. We gonna beat y'all ass. You feel yeah, me? Yeah. Rock ass niggas. Fuck you talking about. <laughs> Fuck you talking about. <laughs> Fuck you talking about. But real talk though. Um, we definitely got um uh, four one four days, my girl Mocha. Shout out to Mocha for handling that for us. Um four one four days events, man. It's always a pleasure to shout out the city, man, and promote the city. Yes, Lord. Um we got youth events going on in the city, you know what I'm saying? So that's gonna be nice. Bunch of festivals. Um, music, good food. Um, so come out there, you know, enjoy the time with your family, bro. Yes, Shout Lord. out four one four. Make sure y'all promote that. You know, I got it tattooed on me, so you know ah, it's engraved ah, in me. You know, but ah, um, you got the other than that, man. Uh, we do also have uh Summerfest. I'm be out there shooting Summerfest events, man. Big shout out to Summerfest Grounds for uh, having MK Jeez. Direct Social out Moving there for that. Fast, boy. Um, I love you guys, bro. Like, I never thought I had opportunity to get out there and, you know, shoot, like, actual, like, I mean, I'm not going to say Milwaukee. We actual artists, but I'm talking about, like, real famous people. Like, yeah. 
it's a pleasure. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, I really appreciate that with all gratitude and humbleness from God. Like, I really appreciate that. You know what I'm saying? Nah, so, with that God. being said, I'm going to do my best for that. Um, anybody that wants to lock in with me, that wants to be a part of that, let me know. I'll let you know what the ticket is. Uh, we can slide on that. You know what I'm saying? Um, already, I got the group of people that's going to be with me, my, my videographers. My uh, promotional team is going to be out there. So, um, like I said, man, I'm just trying to put on for the city. I'm trying to get everybody out there. Yes, Lord. Also, anyone wants to book an interview on uh, River West Radio, 104.1 WXRW Studios. Inbox mkdirectsocial at gmail.com with inquiries. Or you can call 414-293-6066, which is MK Direct Social. Mm -hmm. um, that's the phone number to reach us. You can call us. Uh, we'll answer your calls. Uh, we start interviews off at $100 on radio. Um, we do improv interviews, um, like what we did with Big Frank. You can check out the YouTube page. Uh, we're tagged in with Juice Talk TV. We're tagged in with 414 Hype House. We're tagged in with Uptown Society. We're tagged in with C-Dub Hip Hop. Um, there's a lot of a lot of groups of people that we're tagged in with. Um, I can't mention the name. Say Cheese Digital. Uh, Say Cheese TV. That's one of my boys. Uh, we're locked in with them. So whatever we promote, they're going to promote. You know what I'm saying? So um, if you want to build your fan base, you want to build your social media page, you want to build your exposure, I'm linking with us. We're going to get you where you need to be at. So, again, I, it's a privilege to be on this uh, podcast with my boy, Sir Quentin. Yes, best man. of the best TV. I'm Cartier Chris. This MK Direct Social. My boy, Trey Beasy in the building, a.k.a. Wayne yeah, and Gray. Boy. We locked and loaded, man. Stay tuned. It's Ow. a lot of that shit going on, man. Man, I appreciate you for sliding on the show, man. man. Love, bro. Additionally, for sure y'all check out the motherfucking sock game. Man, you know man, man. <laughs> it's a it's a whole lot of that shit, and and and, and we need we need, we need to talk about the shoe fetish, man. The shoe fetish is crazy. Like we need to talk about that. Like, but like 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 organically, man. Like, like I appreciate you for for sliding to the show, man, and and, and sliding back, man. Cause last time to keep it a buck, man. Like we had audio issues, man. And he slid back, like man. And additionally, like he brought me back to the show. You know what I'm saying? Like, and he just shows like how business business oriented he is you know what i'm saying so like you know what i'm saying it's, 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 it's playing space where it is bro yes lord everybody got time to do shit it's just according to how they want to move yes lord you know yes lord so even in my rep i still plan shit yeah but i still make yeah. time on my day to slide to the session you yeah know what I'm yeah so it's like even wow. if i got something busy like okay i got dinner at wow. eight o'clock but you know wow. like nine o'clock you know, wow. probably gonna be done so let wow. me plan for 11 to get wow. there and do that nigga wow Nigga. Money is money, wow. bro. It don't it don't stop, bro. You wow. gotta keep moving. Your time is money. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta In case y'all just now move. tapping in, we kicking it with my boy. Cardi and Chris. Yeah, you feel me, man? Like it's been uh, one. Man. Derek Sosa, you know it's your boy Sir Quentin kicking it with Cardi and Chris. Y'all make sure y'all tap in to the A N R. That's capital T, lowercase H E, lowercase A N D, uppercase R. And on the on the uh, on the on the website. And we oh, definitely we on Roku. And um, we got events coming up. We got the 420 event coming up. Um, we got best of the best versus top five dead or alive. Oh yeah, shout out my boy Dotty 420 party too, yeah. my boy. I had to add that in there too. For real, y'all got some 420 shit going on. 420 party, yep. For real, my boy Dotty. Yep. Oh yeah, we got a 420 cipher coming up. Like oh. best of the best versus top five dead or alive. So like okay. we on that type of time. And um, then on. Four eight, we got a, a mindful wine tasting coming up, so y'all make sure y'all tap into that. Like we got a, uh, we got all the top podcasters coming in, and then we got uh, a wine tasting and um, art, like just art, like just art, art gallery. So y'all make sure you tap into that. And additionally, y'all tap into Best of the Best TV dot com. Additionally, y'all kicking it with my boy. What's your name, boy? Great. Yeah, Jerry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you feel me, man? And this has been a great interview, man. And uh Yeah, they know yeah. what it is, man. Cardi and Chris, man, MK Direct Social on Best of the Best TV. Fuck you talking about, man. Fuck you me. Talking about that interview that we got coming up. Like this is crazy, man. Yeah. The interview we got coming up is live, man. It's Listen. dope, bro. It's dope. Yes, 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 yes. You already know what's going on, man. Show boy Sir Queen. You already know what time it is, man. Shh. Shut up, my husband. Oh, Shut up and hustle. Shut up. Shut up and hustle. Shut up. Shut up.
Shut up and hustle. Shut up and hustle. Shut up and hustle.